Second race weekend of the BMW IBSF four-man bobsleigh World Cup. We're in Innsbruck in Austria in the snowy Tyrol Mountains, close to the village of Eagles at the Olympia Ice Canal, ready for the final heat of the weekend of the fortnight here in Innsbruck with the four-man bobsleigh. Because of a tie for 20th, we have 21 sleds going through into the second and deciding heat. And John Morgan, plenty to look forward to here. How about this young USA squad team, Hunter Church? Third place, but he's got two sleds right behind him. A couple hundreds behind, but Hunter, good first run, good start times. Hunter coming off injury, but boy, today the US guys have a chance to get on the podium. They're gonna be chasing down two German sleds. Team Lochner, he finished second in this event last week. Look at this little variance here at the start. Did have great speed up top of the track, but he saved it on the bottom, and he's not that far away from the medal. He's only two hundreds in front of Hunter Church, but they're chasing down this guy, Team Francisco Friedrich. He won every race last year. He's only lost one race in four years in four man, and he almost tipped over here on the exit of this curve. Don't know if he fell asleep or with the commentators jinx, but. Last week, he was three-tenths ahead. This week, he's only 16 hundredths ahead. But Martin, look at this leaderboard. Well, yes. From Hansi Lochner in the silver medal position, six sleds, five hundredths down to Oscar's Kiba Manis. Right behind, a hundredth between eighth and ninth. Then the next four sleds covered by eight hundredths. And behind Dominic Dvorak, six further sleds covered by eight hundredths of a second. And we start off breaking a tie for what was 20th in the first heat. So, yeah, uh, it could be changing. Uh, a lot could be. Everything, everything could change. And Francesco Friedrich might not win. He has not won races before. It may have been a while, but he has not won races in four-man in the last couple of seasons. So all things are possible. Snow for the final heat of the weekend. It's been a snowy weekend largely here. Last weekend was pretty clear and dry. But this weekend, a little more on the snow side. Hopefully it shouldn't have too much of an effect, but we'll be on a little bit of a hurry up offense to make sure that if there is a need for sweeping the track, then that can be accommodated as well. And we've got 21 sleds to fit in as well, so everything conspiring nicely against us, having a smooth run through. There's Benny Meyer of Austria. <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard. That's Torsten Margis. It's really hard to identify people. I was watching Alana Myers Taylor walking up the track from behind earlier on before the start of the men's race, and there was no question it was Brian Scheimer walking right beside her. Just the way people walk sometimes is enough. Well, here is our start list 21 sleds, and almost everybody in a near dead heat. In fact, the man who's got the most clear air between him and anyone else perhaps unsurprisingly, is Francesco Friedrich. Second and deciding heat race two of the BMW IBSF four-man bobsleigh World Cup. Looks like there might be a slight delay to the start for Great Britain's Lamin Dean, Toby Alubi, Joel Fearon and Ben Simons. They are going to be sweeping in front of the sleds, I think. And normally it's every third sled. Well, this GB crew in a dead heat with Mattia Variola's team from Italy for 20th place means they both go through. And both will be credited with their second heat times. So who comes out of top in this battle? Well, he didn't make the cut last week, Martin, but he did this week. And uh, four spectacular athletes on this sled. I just don't understand why they get the deficient start time. Maybe they haven't figured out the team aspect of this. In four-man bobsledding, there's the only other better team sport in the Olympic Games than four-man is hockey. Well, they're bringing them all back together. Toby Alubi hasn't slid for a couple of seasons. He's returned to the team this weekend. So Joel Fearon returned to the ice last year. Ben Simons has been with Lamin Dean for the last quad. Look at the way check of the runners. those runners. Yeah. Yeah. 108.5, we will see speeds up to nearly 110 there, certainly 109 and a half. Yeah, not one of the faster oh. tracks in the world, 51.56. Martin, the exact same time he had in the first run, but he yeah. went down 25th in the first run with a really scratched up track. 
Since then, they've cleaned and groomed the track, so he had better ice to work with. Don't Worst can't runners say that's a good run. shot off onto the rubber. No. Mistake coming off runners. nine. Look at the rudder tips. That's called yeah. checking. Trying to stabilize yourself, not run into that wall, which he did well. And then really hit the inner wall hard just before the timing eye. And that will have taken there time out the of the sled. Guys. Yeah. Third fastest ever 100 meters time set in Great Britain, I believe. I think that might now be fourth fastest. However, still pretty quick. Mattia Variola with Eric Fantazzini, Alex Verdiner, and Lorenzo, Lorenzo Bilotti, the most experienced of the three men on the back. Mattia Variola, former Brakeman, really starting to come on in the two man and now making steps forward with the four man as well. Great start in the first run. They do it again, 509. This young Italian, he's coming on, Martin. I, you know, give him a couple more years. He's just new. You know, he came from the back seat to the front seat. Yep. And that's why it's such a strong pushing crew. They've got a, a fast young brakeman who's driving. 3,400, that's huge. That's all related to the start, though. He could throw that away before we get to the bottom. Again, doesn't have the experience. 2,700, so that time will come down some more. But they should have enough, but it's hard to get these four mans in trouble, but when they get in trouble, they have a mind of their own. It's going right to the hundredth here. Yes, it could be another dead heat. Wouldn't be the first, probably won't be the last. Three, Three lost hundreds it. back. Still, Adam and Dean will now finish no worse than 19th. Well, no worse and than the 20th. There are nine, 19 still to come. That's right, that's right. There's yeah. 21 here, so. Yeah, when you start with 21, it throws us all out completely, doesn't yeah. it? The young Italian, he'll live for another day. Look at the real skid out of eight. Watch this, coming out of Chrysler. You want a slingshot effect out of here? Look wow. at that. That's not a slingshot effect. That's that, that's Francesco the there. Hitting the brakes. <laughs> yeah. He's skidding all the way into eight. Well, Friedrich made the same mistake, so he's not in a in a class of one on that one. They drop behind Lamindine. Lamindine, the leader with 19 sleds to go. Next up, Patrick Baumgartner with Robert Messier, Alex Panini, and new boys to the team this year, Jose Delmas Obu. And these guys were right at the tail of last week's field as well. He, he drew number one, Mark, so he had a yeah. huge advantage, Baumgartner. 515. He doesn't get the start his teammate does. There's 515 again. Speed, well, not bad, but uh, he's no no guaranteed he could beat Lamadine at the bottom. Lamadine went 25th, his uh, very yeah. old went 21st. That 25 is going to start probably going down. And Baumgartner only finished 24th place in last week's race. Skid there, out of six. Has to adjust onto the Chrysler. Only to 19, but. Mariola had the same type of lead and couldn't hold it on the bottom. Skid there. Had 1100s from the first heat of the Lamin Dean. Just doesn't have do that. It. No, it's going to be close. 100th or two either way. 900s in front. Well, sets the same time, so he exists entirely on his first heat advantage of being 24 sleds earlier on the ice than Lamin Dean. Martin, when you see somebody lose 2,500s from the Chrysler, 1,000s at that last split, you know, you sort of just feel it's all gone. That's what happened to Variola. But Bumgarner, who won the Junior Olympic event here in 2012, uh, the Junior Olympics, he knows this track well. In fact, the Italians spent a lot of time here on this track, Martin. Yep. Well, they still have an ice house in Chisana. I'm not sure if it's iced up every winter, but they still have that don't use the uh, Olympic track anymore. Unfortunately, that was a great driver's track. So, Patrick Baumgartner leads from Lamindine and Mattia Variola, and we are sweeping the track and blowing the snow away every third so or, or we're gathering to have a chat and a cigarette. I mean, not an awful lot of work going on there. A lot of, a lot of big leads here. I mean, Baumgartner's a hundredth behind. De Bruyne yeah. is coming up. <laughs> then there's two hundreds. Then there are six hundreds between yeah, the next this two is, sleds. Are tied. This is six sleds. Three tied, sleds. Uh, no, there's, yeah, yeah six there's sleds, sleds covered by eight hundreds. So yeah. it's pretty 
pretty tight all the way up to Mihai Tentea and Seaman Friedli in 14th. And if Ivo de Bruyne can get ahead of them, then he will do himself the world of good. Jelen Francic, Joost Dumas, and at the back is new boy Stefan Heustenfeld. Heustenfeld. Trying to get a better start to get away from coach Tom Delahunty. 5.20 in the first heat. 5.20 in the second. Fourth best velocity with the fourth time down. So he was pretty sloppy up top too. Unlike last week, Martin, in the first heat, he was seventh place at the end of the first yeah. heat. All he had to do was finish eighth and he could qualify for the Olympics. Fell three or four spots. And that's so much of this sport like any other, John. It's what's between the ears, isn't it? It's, it's in there somehow. It's been able to unlock it on a consistent basis that is the, the real key. He's coming back, though. 1,200 down. His wife won a bronze medal this morning, Christina De Bruyne from Canada. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. All right. Looks like he will finish ahead of Patrick Baumgartner. He was 100th in front of the Italian in the first heat. is doubled that lead. Get in there. Oh, boy. That's close. How, How do you like the car? Well, he likes it more than if he hadn't doubled that lead and dropped behind the Italian. And this is how close it is. From Baumgartner up through the tie for 14, six leads, eight hundreds of a second. Everything counts here. This was a better run down the track for the veteran Evo De Bruyne. How, does, how do you say it? There's two different ways of saying it. If you're in the truck, uh, the Dutch say De Bruyne. Uh, we ignore them and call it De Bruyne. They're happy with that. They go get stand yeah. the leader's box. We send our best to Janko Francic for a speedy recovery from the injury he sustained in the week. Next up for Lavia, Davskov Manis made his second ever two man World Cup start yesterday. His first was on home ice in Segulda a couple of seasons ago. Ivo Kleinberg's Lauris Kaufmanis and Edgar Nemer are the crew. Nemer was on the two man sled yesterday. 506, first run, top four start. Proficiency down, 507, a little slower. Second best velocity, that's the, the Italians who had the similar start as they did. But Martin, what's impressive about this athlete, we've barely seen him, he's, but he got seventh at the pre-Olympic test over there in Yangcheng. So he's got some talent. And he had the third best starts over there in China. So another Latvian name that, that we get the money on now start. is what I'm yeah. saying yeah. <laughs> before everybody wakes up to it. 2,900s up, goodness me, this is a much better run from Dubs Kaufmanns. Well, he started 23rd, Mark. Yeah. He could move up three or four spots. Yes, he could. 2,400s up, he's flying. Might beat his first team time. 51, 51 45, 43. Yes, he does. Yeah, he does. So by 200s, which... Ooh. Small nation, it's unbelievable how this little small nation of Latvia, he's not happy with it. Yeah. How they produce these awesome athletes. You won't see too many athlete, too many uh, Latvian bobsled teams coming down with bad start times. Yeah. A nation of fewer than two million souls. It's probably as many Latvians living outside of Latvia as actually live in Latvia these days. But Dubs Kavmanis leads with 16 sleds to go. Barnes Fry for Marcus Tricle of Austria. Race two of the BMW IBSF four-man bobsleigh World Cup. Martin Avon and John Morgan watching the action with you. And John, Marcus Tricle just 400s clear of current leader from Latvia, Dubs Kaufmanis. He needs a good run here because the Latvian laid down a good one. 5.10 in the first run, 5.15, 500 slower. Boy, he took too much of the end of one, crossed over to two. I didn't like that at all, Mark. And I think it'll show in the next clock. He had a lead. I don't think he's going to have a lead anymore. No, he's 11 on these corners back where you lose the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his home track to make a mistake like that. It's like missing a layup. Right there. 1100s, but he, he's 1100s to 1100s to 1100s means he's still hanging in there. 
Yep. Kaufman's was pretty good at the bottom, but Kaufman's doesn't have this Austrian shortcut ticket that these Austrian athletes have. Not going to do it, though. Still 1100s. Wow. Well, that shows what a good run Bruin Bruins had. No, look at the comeback. 400s back. back. No, didn't get him. Well, so hangs on ahead of Ivo de Brown, but Kaufmanns moves up. So Davs Kaufmanns leading with 14, well, 15 sleds to go, a tie for 14th up next. If they take this through the cut, Martin, you can see that I think the mistake he made between curve one and two. The, uh, you know, the start, okay, they get in one, that guy on the right ran a little too far, but let's look out of the drive lines now. Let's see him come out of the drive lines. Now he's steering. Comes straight into this first curve, no steering at all. And look, at it gets too high right there, yeah. I think. It puts too much pressure and he crosses over. And got to the left. It's his home yeah. track. Oh, somebody it's limping. Agree. Yeah, somebody was limping there. So 15 sleds to go. First up is a tie for 14th position between Seaman Friedli and Mihai Tentea. So the classic Swiss-Romanian battle, which we're just setting up now. Adrian Fester at two, Greg Jones. Gregory Jones back on the sled at three. And Andreas Haas at four. Seaman Friedli, another former brakeman turned driver. Has all sorts yeah. of... Uh, all sorts of bonuses. You get a very quick, strong, pushing driver who knows the ins and outs of all the tracks and the sport. So you're not trying to teach a, a new dog old tricks. Well, there's your leaders. The two, after the 2019 World Championships in Whistler, he flew back to Lake Placid and he took about three weeks of sliding on that track. That's where he broke himself in. Ooh, they, did, they didn't like that. 509, that's pretty similar to what they did in the first run. Yeah, not going to have great velocity with the uh, athlete there. I think that was Gregory Jones not quite yeah. getting into the sled. And so they are a smidge not bad behind. To, to be only 200s down there, I think that's a positive. Yeah. Yeah, Four or five hundreds down, he's got a chance. One, he's coming yeah. out. Yeah. He got away with that, Mark. Well, this looks like another one that's going to go right to the hundred. Checks himself off the wall. Second best speed. He's got green numbers now. Yeah, Pretty good drive the from the sled. young Swiss pilot. Yeah. And this is how you respond to the pressure. Yeah. 51 4. 100th oh. only slower than his first heat. That's a good run. Yeah. Dodged the bullet at the start. Maintain their position. So he can do no worse than 14th. Last week he was 12th. Yep. Yeah, they're talking about the start. Number two guy. Man at two is in. It's the man the three, at three. Guy, you know, three guy. He fell. The number two guy goes, uh-oh. Little fire drill. Yeah. Okay, let's sit down. We got to sit down. Yeah, number two has to wait for number three. You drop three. in between each other's legs, so until he's there, you dance, sit down, or he won't get in. They dodged a bullet there. Yes, they did. You've got to be cool in those conditions and just work it out. See, Romania, Mihai Tentea. Yeah, we are, lots. I've had enough of Innsbruck. Mihai Tentea, Raul Dobri, Ciprian Dorocci, and Christian Radu, the crew, tied to the 100th with our current leaders, Seaman Friedli. Do they remain tied? Do they go ahead? Do they drop behind? We'll know in 55 seconds. Yeah, it's 16. They're going to give up a lot of time at the start. Don't like the brake, man. It seems to me he's too far up in the back seat there. See too much of his back. He should be lower. That's where the air exits the sled. They call it dirty air. Aerodynamics, dealing with hundreds of seconds. Do you think there's any importance, Mark? He was closing from 700s back as he sat down to five. Second best speed. He's holding. The Swiss sled was not the fastest. And he does drive this track well, doesn't he? He Four drives every speed. track. This young guy's Here we got go. six. Got to run on, out of track. Heat. It's going to be a dead heat. Got to run out of track. Plus it's three. going to be so close. And no. So Friedley found a little bit in the labyrinth that kept him in front. 
and 700s back, Mihai Tentea. So that will be no worse than 15th, but those runners will need a lot more work. Well, there's nothing wrong with these lines. Can we see uh, aerodynamics? You see, you see some shoulders back there. Should, I think, is that the brakeman? It does look like Christian Radu's shoulders, the brakeman, yeah. Yeah, it's a big unit. shouldn't see that. He did a little aerodynamic lesson. And you know what we're dealing with, hundreds of seconds? Yeah. Air. Next up, Dominic Dvorak of the Czech Republic, and with a growing lead now of 900s per second over the current leader, Stephen Freeby from Switzerland. Jan Sindela, new boy Jakim Prochaska, and Jakob Nosek on the back handles between his two teammates there. Dvorak, only 13th place today, a little better than last week, though. Has not been having a great time here. Well, 12th place no, last week in the four-man, but should really be top 10. Yeah, last year he finished second or third in World Cup overall standings. Yeah. Yesterday he was sitting down like he thought he was hurt, Martin, and we realized he was just spiritually hurt from his yeah. poor performance here in the first two weeks of the season. Well, let's and see if he can leave on a high. 700s ahead of Freebly. Little skid down to 600s. Yeah, he's pulling away a little bit. I mean, this is, he's got a lot of experience. Two Olympic games under his belt. He might have three as a push athlete. He might have been a push athlete to 10, but he's been with the Czech program for a long time. Nine, he's got enough, Mark. Yeah, it's going to be close, though, isn't it? Freely was very quick at the bottom. Has he got enough? He does, just hangs on. So Dominic Dvorak will be no worse than four to, uh, 13th. Pretty much chalk what he did last week. Yeah. 12th last week, 13th this. Well, he could still move up a spot. Feels that that was a better trip. It was 12th last week. Yeah. In now we have to watch everything because not everybody's getting in. Watch them jump on those little side bars, side bales they call them, and look at the way the number two guy puts his helmet, visor down. They snuggle in there nicely. Now we'll look. Let's grade their aerodynamics here. Well, I see a lot of somebody behind him. Looks like that number two guy, that white helmet. You can see the edge of that, Martin. And I think that they, I'll give them a B plus in the aerodynamics. All right, so 13th has been down. These are the next two sleds were tied for 11th place, the second of our ties, uh, third of our ties we get to in this field, the 21. Cody Basque, Carlo Valdez, Jimmy Reed, Hakeem Abdul Sabur, the crew. It's issues. Cody had some issues yesterday getting in this two man sled. That he had the fifth place in the first run, 14th best time in the second run, fell to 10th. All right, let's see what this US crew can produce. 5.06 for faster start in the first heat. Yeah, the start time Any be great. hundred will help. Oh, and they're that, in a now down that's and clean. There. Well, it wasn't a good start, though. They're 500 no. slower, but very efficient getting in the sled compared to what they've been going through. Well, fourth best start, second best velocity. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. well, that's a key area. That new push house they got in late class is going to prove dividends yeah. for the U.S. team. It's showing it here. Cody yeah, lost time in the bottom part of the track in the first run. Just lost Eight to there. seven. Yeah, it's going to be close. Oh, steers too hard out of there again. That's where he lost all his time in the first run, but that hard steer of the exit of nine. Four hundreds ahead in the first heat. Too close to call. Four now. Could be another dead heat. Very close. Two oh, hundreds in, in front. Boy, the curve nine. I don't think Cody is coming around. He's too much steering. It seems like yeah. out of curve nine. First heat, he was really skidding off the exit. Still held his position. Yeah. At least. 
And this is in a group of four sleds covered by 800s up to 10th spot. So watch the exit here. Look at the, look at the runners. See how hard he's turning the runners? Same thing he did in the first run. Yeah. I'm sure they'll take a look at that in video, but uh, that's too much steering to come off that curve nine like that. Yeah, a little late See on the timing. See that much spray coming off the front of the, 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 you know, the top runner. 14th last week, should be no worse than 12th now. He leads with 11 to go. Was tied to the 100th with this crew. Brad Hall took the silver medal with Hansi Lochner last week. Taylor Lawrence, Sam Blanchett joining the crew. Very nearly didn't get in the sled. Greg Cackett at the back. So Blanchett back six. in the sled for the first time in 12 months. 506 in the first run with that mishap. 514 here. That well, is... Perhaps being a little more cautious there, just to make sure they get in clean. Cautious for what? They're, they're 10th or 12th, I mean. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, Sam this Blanchett is the silver medal. Barely silver, got in. Silver medal sled from last week. You know, go for it. I don't understand right, but that. But it is all of, if they finish with four men, then they get points. If they finish with three, they get nothing. And it's all about earning points to qualify for the games. Good run from Brad Hall. He's Still behind. On. Yeah. He's coming on. This Steady. is going to be close. 100th in it. Right to the 100. Right to speed. The 100. Not getting the speeds, but across the line, 200s in front. 51-4-0. The last three sleds have set such close times. Brad Hall, 51-4-0. Cody Baskew, 51-4-2. Dominic Dvorak, 51-4-0. Seaman Friedley, 51-4-0. Three sleds of the last four at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. So they might have said, okay, one less step. Get in, go down, go for the safe line. Yeah. Probably took your advice. The medals were out of the question yeah. here. And then you were going it's for points. points. It's points. And it's your starting position in the games. It's getting selected for the games. It's all of that. Innsbruck, yes, lovely everything. Doesn't count. It's all about Beijing. Brad Hall leads with 10 to go here in Innsbruck. Mikael Vogt of Austria with Alan Canusa, the new boy in the team, Silvio Weber and Sandro Michel behind him. 400's the lead over our current leader, Brad Hall, and his crew. 300's, fifth best velocity. Not a very good starting team, but boy, he was flying down the track. That deficient start time, he had the 19th best start, drove himself into 12th. Probably what he's going to do again, Martin, is drive himself into the lead. A little yep. variance there, though. Best velocity on the exit of the curve you're supposed to use for a slingshot effect to the bottom. And he's done that very well. These are great lines. Gap is slender, but he's got a tiny lead over Brad Hall. He's going that away. is growing. Here we go. Yeah. He had good speed at the bottom in the first heat, has good speed at the bottom in the second. Is yeah, the leader he... by nine. There's some driving right there, Mark, for this young Swiss pilot. They're high on him. Yeah, they should be. Well, he needs a little bit better start. Five, eight hundreds more at the start, and he'll be in the mix. You can tell he can drive. Look at the runner tips here. Now, remember, Cody Basque was all that spray coming off his bottom runner. Look at that. Hardly any in a perfect straight line. He was. Very quiet on the exit of that curve, and it's not the person who steers the most that wins, it's the person who steers the least. And that, that angle showed it right there. Oh, this, this is pretty much what everybody has to do. That's 11-12 yeah. combination. He likes it. This track was not built for sleds this quick, that is for sure. So Mikhail Vogt of Switzerland leads, and we have nine to go. Get some we just out of had, there. Yeah. Get your, get your screwdriver. Yeah. Go get a screwdriver. Yeah, don't use your fingers because you're your going to lose your fingers. There you go. Get your pen. See, so listen to anything. Me. There you go. They always listen to you, John, if they know what's good for them. So we've had 
Four sleds covered by eight hundreds. We now have the next two sleds covered by zero hundreds of a second. Roman Heinrich with Lille Nenefev, new boy Thomas Delmest and Jerome Laparal on the back of the sled. He finished 22nd last week, Martin. Yeah. He's up here yeah. now in a top 10 position. Just Uncharted had a bad territory. week all round last week, didn't he? You know, he's shaking it off. Dominic Dvorak has probably looked like he's shaking it off today. Marco Bock and Carla Seneschal had a, a decent morning in the women's bobsleigh as well. Catherine Beal, she shook it off. Yeah. So let's see if Roman Heinrich can convert this into a top eight finish, maybe. His best result in a World Cup four-man race has been a pair of eighth places. Can he do that here? 5.10 is the start. Not bad, you know, got the third velocity. Drove a great sled the first run, Mark. Like the way the team's tucked in for aerodynamics here. Give them an A minus, at least 1,800 fleet. Could be pretty tough to throw that away. He drives like he did the first run. This is a great turnaround. You know, personal best. Yeah. You want to come out every week, just do better, beat people you've never beaten before. Heinrich's got a chance to do that right now. He's got a chance to way exceed his Innsbruck best in a four-man, which is 18th place. He's had a couple of those. Yeah, looks like big that here. now. Don't Absolutely. be excited here. 700 that takes the lead from Mikkel Vogt. So that is absolutely a huge personal best in Innsbruck. And if they break the tie with Maxim Anginov in their favor, it will equal his all-time best in a four-man sled. They're going to be pretty ecstatic about this result. From 22nd yeah. last week to a top, at least a top eight. Look at how quiet yeah. he came off a nine. Aerodynamics. What do we see? Anything back there? Mm, not really. Good aerodynamics. Pretty good turnaround for the French. Yeah. Same driver, same sled, almost the same crew. And it is all between the ears there. He has just turned it around and come back, all guns blazing. So can Maxim Anginov hang on? Well, these two crews started exactly with identical times and ended up 100th apart. 100th in favor of Anginov. This will be for no worse than eighth place. 5.13. Not bad. This is the guy who finished 10th last week. Yeah, versus the guy who finished 22nd. Yeah, so. There's not many sports where that happens from one week to the next. 200 so back. Three or four hundreds, maybe, at the most here. Ah, dead heat, he's already coming on. This is All a right. lot more, this guy's got a lot more experience than Roman Heinrich. He does. just came down, he's showing it. Speeds are the same at the Chrysal. And you know, got a little there. bit more. Here we go. Five. Gap's going to grow. 500 to the second. He's going to have the lead over Roman Heinrich. Had a flat line to the finish last time round. 600 to the second. But it is a huge Innsbruck personal best for Roman Heinrich. Yeah. This is going to probably put two Russians in the top seven, though. His teammates yeah. coming up. Russians have a good history on this track. A guy named Zupkov won a few races here. Look at the difference in speed here. Andrianov with uh, seven tenths of a kilometer doesn't sound like much. It's about a third of four, four tenths of a mile an hour. But when you're dealing with hundreds of seconds, that is a lot. Zilkov had two wins here back in 08 9 and 11 12. Silver in each case, Stephen Holcomb. So we move into our closest battle of all. This is the battle from second to joint sixth. We have six sleds covered by five hundredths of a second. Five or six up, in both runs. And that best velocity, or that was an efficient load by one of the favorites in the competition, you know, and in that little race they had over there in China at the Yanking Sliding Center, he was third. 
2,500 had a win Martin. in four man on this track. Martin, he's not worried about the guys at the bottom. He's challenging Martin. here for a cup. <laughs> Look at that. Well, he is. There. I mean, realistically, they all are, aren't they? All these all five seven sleds. sleds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All going for him. Go big or go home Ooh. right here. He's going to lead from Anginov by 3,400. Wow, that's a, that's a huge run. run. Not quite as quick as his first heat. These top seven sleds were in a very different class to the rest of the field. But he was only... Yeah, he was only seven hundreds ahead of Anginov in the first heat. He's really opened that up, though. Well, Andrianov had the favorable start time of four. Yeah. Look at the load here. Look at this. This was very, four very large men getting efficiently into that little bathtub. And then Keeper Manis, who's been in what I think of pretty much a slump for the two weeks he's been here. Of course, he, maybe he wants to peak in February. I keep bringing that up, but this was a good run and could still be a medal run, Martin. We're, we got a few sleds coming down yet, but. Well, the too other thing with Oscars, call. John, is he only did two, two uh, four-man races last year. They, ra they didn't come to Europe until after the Christmas New Year break, so he did one four-man race in Innsbruck, and he did the World Championships. He was fifth here, fourth in the world. So he may be a little race rusty in terms of the four-man, but he leads now with five to go. Final five sleds covered by five hundredths of a second. The battle for second. Let's see what we've got from Justin Cripps, Ryan Summer, Cam Stones, and Ben Cokewell. Cokewell in his 66th four man World Cup start. I want to talk about veteran brakeman. You've got one yeah. right there on the back of this Canadian sled. Cripps, a medalist with this crew last season, 2021. Six last weekend, 507. Well, that's pretty much exact same start. Best yep. velocity though. So there's this Canadian crew. Cripps has got his destiny right in his hands. Only a hundred up. And five hundred out tied. of five hundred out of there. silver. Tap there, third best speed. See what he can do. That looks clean. That tap cost him those 200. Here, speed up. here. Better. Get that no, speed. Tied. Same speed as Kiba Manis. 400s back now. Needs Not a good clean run here. Not going to do it. Not going to do it at the line. 500s back. Kiba Manis leads with five to go. Wow. Well, they are so closely racked up in front, Cripps may still yet be better than sixth last week, although he's currently second with five to go. That tap up there, six to seven. This is it right here. This took green numbers to the red. Just that minute tap, but it's at a spot where the sled, you know, you're trying to let the sled just accelerate. It's a gravity sport. Can't make mistakes like that. Then you have to steer right. a bit more in the Chrysler. That takes more speed out because of the higher pressure there. Five to go in Innsbruck. Here is the hometown hero, Benny Meyer, with Sasha Stepan, Marcus Sammer, and Christian Huber on the sled. So these guys, 1800s off the lead, 400s out of silver, 200s out of bronze. Anything is possible now. Home pound. 507 in the first try. Needs that to challenge. Six. Speed, only the fourth best velocity. Might have had something to do with that push bar being out. But this guy was silver medal in last year's world championships. Yep. Got to drive himself in here. He was a silver medalist here in Innsbruck in January this year as well. Benny Meyer like knows how to get down here in a hurry. Didn't like the way he took curve five. Looks like he got sucked up into it. That's why those green numbers are red. Ooh, this is hundred good. back. Eight Not best the greatest speed. speed. A smidge down He's on Coming Anginov. back. He could fall two spots. 
Ooh. Cripps is second. Kiba Manis leads. Benny Meyer does drop two spots. Kiba Manis leads with four to go. They show us curve five and six up there. Just didn't like the way the sleet plus he had minus three at that point. And this went away by the time he got to Kreisel. I just didn't like the way this is down at nine. But he, this nothing here I can see what cost him. Aerodynamics, well, you can see somebody back there a little bit. But look how low he is. Eyes barely above the cowling with that clear visor. I okay, there a couple back with four to go. So seventh, no worse for Benny Meyer. Next up, Rostislav Gajtukovic. Now, this kid has been knocking on the door. It is time to start kicking it down. Rostislav Gajtukovic, Mikhail Mordasov, Vladislav Zharkotsev, and Pavel Travkin. Can they take a medal here? It would be a huge day if they did. 0-3 in the first run. Ooh, I don't like the way. 0-4 there. It's great. Fifth best velocity. Didn't like the way the sled drifted left into that first curve, and the velocity trap is right after that. But he's got 500s in the bank, so he's got to grow that to six or seven here. He'll be in danger of followed by the Latvians. Fifth here There's in January, five. seventh here last week. His World Cup best is fourth place. Still on target, Three. 300 to head. Down. Keeper Manis was perfect down here. This young Good Russian. speed at the bottom. He doesn't, not as not quick as Keeper Manis. He's not. Keeper Manis is going to lead with three to go. Ooh, look at that big change of direction there, oh. too. Oh, Lost two awesome. spots. You see how much this means to Oscars Keeper Manis? They are not relaxing their way into the Olympic Games. They are desperate to turn their form around. Well, he might have been listed to me saying he's been underperforming for these two weeks, but well, maybe I not think in this he's race. aware of that for sure. You know, uh, yeah. just can't fault much of this down here, Martin. Speed lost early on is I didn't like him up at the start. Them all. I did. Yeah. But you know, in the finish curve, there was a big change of direction. The boy's real high there. Big high really high time. there. Watch this change of direction on the nose here in the finish curve. Look at the runners yeah. pointing big down. Big skid. Look. Look at the runner big there skid. pointing yeah. down. Steers it. Steers yeah, it too hard, too big early. Change. That's friction. Yeah. That's inexperience. He I, knows it. Close. So close. He's going to get one. Oscar's Cuba Manis and his crew waiting to see who is going to crack. This was always going to be a tough battle for all these guys from the tie for six up to silver. Just five hundredths of a second covering all the six sleds. So, Hunter Church for the USA, Josh Williamson, Chris Horn, and Charles Volker, the new boy. Third place after the first of two runs. Hunter Church, bronze medalist here two seasons ago on this track. Volker's the new addition from last week. Yeah. Star running back at Princeton. 508. Should get seven or six. Good Anything good start makes the difference. Six. Velocity. Fifth best velocity. Runners. Rocky in the guidelines. It's his to take now. Hunter's favorite song is Learning to Fly by Tom Petty. He's got to fly this sled at the bottom for a medal. He won a medal on this track two years ago, Martin. Yep. It's dead Tied. Here. He needs really good speed at the bottom. Did well on the bottom in the first team, too. Yep. Oh, little skid Slot. line to 10. 11th and best And that speed. is probably the end of his medal chance. Eight. Eight. Now is going to be in the medals here. Spots. Well, Kip is five back. Out of nowhere. Guy Tukovic. Ah, down to fourth place. He is behind Guy Tukovic. He and Guy Tukovic both tumble down the order. And in the medals, Oscars keeper Manis. USA's got to walk out of here with a lot of positive, though, because that second best start time. That new ice facility they got has proven dividends here early in the season. Look at the exit here. 
you know, but, you know, Hunter didn't come to Europe last year at all. He found they, he dis was disqualified in one of the qualifying races for the U.S. Yeah. Dropped a weight on his foot in September, had an operation, just got pins removed about a month ago. I'd still walk out of here pretty positive with the U.S. That start time's Agreed. Key. Agreed. And the next track is a real driver's track, so they should do well there, too. So two to go. We know right now that Oscars Kubermanis will be in the medals. What about Hansi Lochner? Four man a winner on this track when he won the European Championship back in 2017-18. Ahead of Justin Cripps and Francesco Friedrich that day. 14 hundreds away from the lead, and that will be what he's looking for, to try and win another four-man race on this track. Oh, 502. Six around there, 502, spectacular start. Velocity only the fourth. Too much work going on from one to two still. Wasn't this the World, didn't he win the World Cup? Well, he won the World Championships. He tied Friedrich to the 100th of second in Cortex in 2017. Yep. And he won the World Joined Cup the title that year. He's only a hundredth up, Martin. That's not a good yeah. sign. He should it's be more than that. Sign. He's not a four. This isn't well, good. He had, he had five hundredths in the first heat, and he's in the red now. Keeper Manis, his last best. medal on this track Eight. was silver. Twelve, he's going to fall back twice. Someone else is going to get a medal here. Keeper Manis and Cripps are going to benefit, and he is behind oh. Meyer. Keeper Manis, Meyer. silver medal. Cripps, bronze medal at the, the Church. moment. Church and Meyer are tied for fourth. Yeah, he dropped behind them both. Cripps he went the from the top of about. that group. He went from the Look top that. of that group of six to the bottom of it. Where did he make his mistake? But that start Everywhere. the best start. Up yep. top. I don't like the aerodynamics there. I can see that light blue helmet there. But the, he made the mistake up top someplace. Look how high yeah. he gets there and finish. Mistakes two to three. And it surely breaks. Across the line. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, Hansi. Well, Friedrich's klaxon is going at the top of the mountain. Francesco Friedrich. The last time he didn't win in a four man, Samaritz 2020, that was January 2020, he was fifth. Since then, he's won two world championships, one Olympic test event and five consecutive World Cups. This is for the sixth, 5-0-1. Well, Martin, I'm gonna say something that I hope doesn't jinx him. This is almost a victory lap for him. Yeah, you, know, you just said how, how well he was doing in the first heat and he nearly rolled it out of the seven. Wow. 1400s was the lead in the first heat, 1900s was the lead when he set off and he's growing that now to three tenths. The first, the top six sleds are separated by about 2,500. Yeah. He's going to separate himself from the other six sled, those six sleds, by over three tenths. Yeah. Time well, gets the gap's coming down from three tenths, but it will still be about a quarter of a second at the line. He wins again his sixth straight four-man World Cup win. Mark, and this during track. that streak, he's also been a double world champion and won the Olympic test event. Mark, let me give you this stat. There's been 12 heats of bobsledding so far this year, including the one in China. He's got first in every heat. Figure that out. How does he do it? I don't know how he does it. I'm just glad that I'm living through it and seeing We're it. We're watching it. We're watching 17th it. 17th four-man World Cup victory of his career in his 66th start. He has a further 17 medals, so 34 four-man medals in 66 World Cup races. That is still better than a 50% podium finishing average. Imagine coming to the track every day when you're the rest of the athletes. You know, looking around going, well, listen, who, who's going to finish second? Who amongst well, it's us like, is going to finish second? It's like turning up to sports, sports, sports Day when Usain Bolt's kid is there. You know the father's race is going to be tough. Oscars keeper Manis takes silver. Justin Cripps takes bronze. Francesco Friedrich, his 17th career four-man 
World Cup win. Guy Tukovic again knocking on the door in fourth. That's a career best for him here. Hunter Church so close to the medals in fifth place. And further up, a great comeback this week from Roman Heinrich, who struggled so much last week. A couple of big stories. Dubs Kafmanis really uh, drawing the attention in two-man and four-man this weekend for Latvia. But the big turnaround from last week, Oscars Kibermanis, Latvian coming from, where was he last week? Seven. Fifth place into silver. Francesco Friedrich, a slightly off form first heat, but John, not too many errors to criticize in the second. Uh, Kibermanis moved up six spots to the silver medal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, it was basically a, a dead heat behind this guy. Yeah, yeah, everybody else is challenging for that silver medal. There we go, no there's the rainbow right. beanies. Yeah. <laughs> Smile on the face of big Torsten Margis. Should and be. they are as gracious in defeat occasionally when that does happen as they are happy with victory. A perfect score in two man and four man. Keeper man is now up to second behind Friedrich Lochner third by two points ahead of Justin Cripps and Benny Meyer. Rostislav Kajtukovic, best of the rest now ahead of Brad Hall, whose bronze uh, silver medal last week didn't quite match this week. So two weeks of sliding done in Innsbruck in Austria. We head next week to Altenburg in Germany for the first of two visits to the track in Saxony, uh, not back to back. So we continue then through the rest of the World Cup season up to the Christmas break. Six races before a week off Christmas New Year. And then we race New Year's weekend for the final two race weekends of the season. Until next week then in Altenburg on Friday morning for the skeleton from the IBSF TV crew for John Morgan and Martin Haven saying thank you for joining us. We look forward to your company next week, Friday, Saturday and Sunday from Altenburg. Yeah!